<laughs> I do this thing where I like scroll back uh, to like, I go into to people's like social profiles and like scroll way back. Uh, right. Sometimes on Instagram, I did it on your YouTube. Uh, right. Like see, I like to see where people started out and like- Started before. Yeah, so it's like fascinating to see like, cause you've been making a lot of content like over the years. Uh, right. And then it's interesting to see how you have like been trying different things. How, how do you think yeah. about like, I mean, you've maybe done things that didn't work out. Do you think of that as like a failure or how, how do you like frame the, yeah. those different so, things? So, yeah, so for me, I think, um, you know, I'm what you call like a subsistence creator, right? So my creativity is like a, how a subsistence farmer, you grow food for yourself and then you grow for everyone else. Okay. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I do has been to solve personal problems. Like, you know, like, so if I'm going through something that I need to solve, I'll come up with a creative solution for it before it becomes, say, a business venture or a, a, uh, an initiative or, you know, any of those things. So, but what you will see with me in terms of content is that I kind of moved back backwards because you're looking at, you know, I started an ad agency. I used to run one of the biggest production companies in the country that, you know, that, so I came from high end production and I'm in this journey of having to actually dumb down what, what, what I do, you know, like, like literally having to produce content without having a production designer and a director mm -hmm. and a, you know, a thing of uh, photography and, and so on. So from a content perspective, um, that's where my content lies, but the projects I've worked on, it's solving a problem. So when my wife and I decided that we wanted to travel the world, comedy was the thing that we used in order to do that because that mm. allowed me to be able to use something that was there in my genetics. Like my dad was a comedian. So I could, I, you know, I, I could approach it like a subject matter and say, okay, I've got the bare bones of what a stand up comic would be, but what does it take to be a great comic? And so studying comedy itself. And so this is where you find me getting into comedy. And then the cooking is my mom. My mom is a home economics lecturer. So Again, food solved our problems on a daily basis. Like, how do you feed yourself? Like, they often say, like, artists sort of struggle, and you think with your stomach and, you know, that kind of thing. Food was one of those things that really saved my career because I didn't have to think with my stomach. I was already a celebrity chef. I was already making money from my cooking on a daily basis. But that solves a problem at home because that's what we eat. We literally are feeding yeah, ourselves. that's all amazing. Yeah. 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 And, and so when you look at some of the things that we, we do, some of these initiatives, initially what you see is that they're actually solving like a problem. So the, yeah. the moving to rural has to do with us getting off the rent trap. So yeah. while a lot of people might see, oh, Carl has tried a lot of things, but if you look at the linear progression of it, you will mm -hmm. see it's along the same journey. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, me moving into a tent, then moving into a bus, and then the bus becoming the the piece of land that we're on and bef before we know it we have a farm and then i get into that's why they call it a property ladder because you climb up mm. properties until you get awesome. to a certain level so so all of those yeah. things have been like rather than give people the bigger picture what they then see are the small bits like um, yeah. you know they see oh carl tried to do like a football thing here but what i normally do is i work with prototypes um i create a prototype and I put it out onto the market, see how it works. If, if that doesn't work at that particular point, then I'll say, okay, maybe this isn't the time. I put it away. We put a lot of research behind it again. We push it into the market. Before you know it, it's evolved into like a third, fourth iteration of, of an initial thought process. And yeah. I like to keep myself very open to an idea becoming something else. Yeah. To, today, today yeah. You're, you think you're growing grapes. Tomorrow, you're making a cognac. And all of that has been because of your knowledge of making grapes, pressing wine, uh, fermenting, knowing how to pot still until you get a cognac. And so in my life, that's what you see. When you see the progression, there's some things that haven't, they haven't matured to where they need to be. So, so that's to answer the question, like, do you see them as failures? No, I actually see them as almost steps towards an, a bigger end goal uh, of, yeah. you know, of something I have an interest in.